Hey guys, I'm back with another black market update, and this week you can find it on Necrotefeo in the Tanzadir ruins. And the following is a path from the initial fast travel location to the black market's current location. Now this path does have a ton of enemies that you can choose to fight with, but if you're fast enough, you can easily get through here pretty easily in one straight shot to the black market from the fast travel location with basically no violence along the way. Why? <laughs> I'm not really crying. I hate waiting. Enough, that's it. Let's just skip on ahead, shall we? Now that's more like it. At the top of the stairs, you're going to want to slow down. Alright, I got it. Thanks. Now just dive off the waterfall to your right. Geronimo! This is what I think it is. Jackpot! Now on the map, I've included the path that we took, along with some shortcuts and alternate routes, just in case you need it. Right, now first up, we have the front loader Hyperion Shield. This reserves 60% of your maximum health and converts it into shield capacity. This is great for weapons with an anointment that give you plus 100% radiation damage when you're under 50% health, as you'll always be running with this active. Oh, fuck yeah! Next up, we have two COV assault rifles. No, no, no! Pain is power! Embrace the pain! <laughs> now, both of these weapons have a unique mechanic where sustained fire will cause you to deal incendiary damage to yourself while providing perks to the weapons. Unfortunately, this self-damage makes them nearly unusable in higher mayhem levels, as you'll be constantly taking yourself out over and over again. Nobody kills me but me! Die with me! And lastly, we have the Jericho Vladoff rocket launcher. For your consideration, the Jericho. Ah, boom! <laughs> Now this thing is seriously fun, and it comes with two firing modes. In launcher mode, it fires rockets that rise up into the air before detonating and releasing smaller projectiles that rain down on the enemies below. Whereas in mortar mode, it launches four arching mortar shells that explode into multiple projectiles, covering a wide area. Obviously, I prefer the mortar mode for its ability to saturate the battlefield with explosions. And obviously you have to be careful not to be hit within your own blast radius. But you can easily avoid that if you get yourself some form of invulnerability. Like a last stand artifact or a super soldier shield. Now before you go, if you're still waiting around for the black market to respawn, then you definitely should check out my previous video. As I show you how to reroll this infinitely, instantly. But if that doesn't interest you, or you're simply looking for something different, there are obviously other ways to get a ton of legendaries. Yeah, I'll just hang here for a while. Huh? Hi, is somebody there? Did you pass out in the stand-up position? You seem to be just staring at me and you got this, this eye thing. Like, do you know your eye just shoots in random directions all the time? It's weird, man. Get that checked out with that or something. Ha-ha, catch a ride with the wire, you still here?